Hey there, today I want to show you a really simple and useful tip for anybody who's using Unity. If you want to show data or add some quick buttons to just do things in the editor without having to customize your code, modify things, or change anything, you can use this little inspector area. This is a tip that your I shared earlier on the Game Dev Show, and I thought it was worth making a full video about. Check this out here. I've got a network manager that doesn't usually have a network preview. This is a custom object here, and if I sign in one of my characters, say I go over here in my other window, sign in Denise and go select my network manager. You can see that Denise now shows up. I'm going to go over off screen just a little bit. Here's the window. I'll grab one of my characters. Let's take a that one right there, log him in, Zach's in, and now he's connected as well. I can see both of my characters or players that are connected, and I can disconnect them with these little buttons here. Let's kick Denise right out of the game. Bam, she's back to the character selection. So this works very simply with a little script that you use that's an editor-only script, so you don't have to modify your own code. Let's take a look at it. Here it is, it's this Network Manager Preview class. You can see that it inherits from object preview, which is what makes this work. And we give it the custom preview and then the type. So it's the attribute to tell it which type to do this preview for. Here I've got network manager. Then we override the has preview GUI and just return true here. And then on preview GUI, we could optionally say no. If Maybe if there are no characters selected, have it return false or something, or no characters in. But if we, I just want to show it all the time. So in our on preview GUI, we check to make sure that we have a network manager. We have some connected clients then I do a little GUI layout just like you would in normal inspectors begin a vertical layout create a label for the number of clients loop through all of the clients begin a horizontal row which oh yeah the row is so that I can have a button there to so do a row with a label that has the client and their character name it's their client ID character name and then a disconnect button that disconnects them now, I just found out about this thing today. Thanks again, URI. And if you want to find out more cool stuff like this really fast, make sure you come join us every Friday for the Game Dev Show. It's at usually 9 a.m. Pacific. And I'm looking for other cool ways to use this. I've got a couple things bouncing around. I would recommend you check out the documentation. And if you have some ideas, drop them in the comments. And if you're curious what other things these can be used for, um, check out the comments. URI had some really good examples of showing like the trajectory of a cannonball or the model preview for something um haven't dug in yet but i want to keep looking a little bit more so again if you got thoughts ideas on this stuff um please just drop them down in the comments don't forget to like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye